When you think of Buddha, no doubt the image in your mind is of a statue surrounded by ornate carvings in a monastery run by orange-clad monks on a mountaintop. The picture in your mind is probably not a roadside in Oakland, USA. Back in 1999, the city of Oakland installed a traffic median in a residential area, and while it helped with traffic, it also began to attract a lot of undesirable attention. Not long after being put in, the median quickly became a magnet for illegal dumping. Local resident Dan Stevenson described it this way. The corner was constantly being filled up with mattresses and couches and junk, and there was some drug usage, a lot of graffiti, people just standing around and doing nothing. Stevenson contacted the city government to do something about the problem. Despite doing this many times, the dumping and trouble continued unabated. One day, his wife Lou bought a 60 centimetre tall Buddha statue from their local Ace Hardware. And this is where inspiration struck Stevenson. He took the statue and placed it between two trees on the site. Though Stevenson is not a Buddhist, he stated that he believed Buddha to be a neutral and uncontroversial figure who might cause those considering dumping to think twice. He didn't expect much to happen next. Maybe someone would steal the Buddha or graffiti him. Well, that didn't happen. Instead, little by little, neighbours began to care for the tiny statue. At first, the occasional apple or orange appeared under the statue, left as offerings. Then, a Vietnamese neighbour named Vina Vo and her son Cook Vo paid a visit to Stevenson and asked if they could care for the statue. They built a platform for the statue to sit on and began to sweep and clean the area around him. Vo's husband then built a shelter around him and there he sat, gazing over the neighbourhood. Vo and her husband are now the primary caretakers and every morning at 7am, they and other Vietnamese Buddhists from the neighbourhood meet at the shrine where they chant and pray and give offerings of oranges and apples along with incense. They say that everyone in the neighbourhood loves the shrine and that all are welcome. As for Stevenson, his spur of the moment idea has really changed the area where he lives. It's become this icon for the whole neighbourhood, he says. There's a lot of people that are not Buddhist that come and just talk in front of him. They walk their dogs, they stand there. It's a place where people meet and talk. It's just cool. Stevenson's original idea was to stop people dumping rubbish and doing drugs. And from that point of view, it's been very successful. Even more than he could have imagined with the arrival of the Vietnamese worshippers. But as amazing and as interesting as that is, What's even more impressive is that the Oakland Police Department stated that since the statue was made into a shrine and expanded and daily worship began in 2012, by 2014, crime had fallen in the neighbourhood by 82%. It just goes to show that you never know what effects your small acts may have. As you go about your daily activities, whether it's a smile, buying someone a coffee, or helping an elderly person across the road, you never know, in some way, you too might be planting your very own Buddha of Oakland. Oh.